Good evening, distinguished panel of judges. <laughs> Will you please explain to them what this is? You don't mind that I'm so close to you, right? Okay, has anybody seen this before? Yes. Okay, this is called an auto harp. It's an Appalachian folk instrument developed by a German guy who was gonna sell this to music teachers to take, like, to teach music lessons because it's very easy to play. Okay, um, wait, and when, do you know when, about when it was invented, and was this German man a Nazi? <laughs> That's a real question. He was not a Nazi, I don't know, uh, but uh, if he is a Nazi, am I not allowed to play this? I mean, I don't know. I'm not gonna go on. How many of you trust her judgment? Okay, nobody, okay. Um, but no, it was built to play tabletop, and then in the mountains in Appalachia, they started picking it up and playing it against their body. Isn't that weird? Isn't drag fun? Okay. Oh, wow. Can I record you? Yeah, you can do whatever you want. Thank you guys again for attending our event. I know it's a lot of standing. I know it's a lot of standing. I know this is LA, and you use Uber XLs taking you wherever you want, so I appreciate you for staying put with us for five seconds. Thank you. Um, listen. I know that in my stand-up... Skinny! Skinny legend, yes. I know that in my stand-up, I presented a lot of questions and answered none of them. Uh, but I grew up on Jerry Springer, and what I learned is at the end of the episode, you tie everything together with a final thought. And I know that I only present a lot of questions. Why does she look like that? Um, why did they put her on TV again? We don't know. Um, uh, is there a God? If there is a God, can he see me in the shower? And what are the odds he's gonna look at on me in that three minute per month window? When I'm, washing the, when I'm washing the blood off my face before my Tinder date. Um, why does Melissa Joan Hart follow me on Twitter? Did anybody with the Galaxy Note 7 survive? Why when I listen to the 1978 hit song by Norman Greenbaum, Spirit in the Sky, am I silent the whole time until the line, I got a friend in Jesus, when I do not have a friend in Jesus? I don't even have a long-haired friend who wears sandals. How do crickets know when they've told a bad joke? And, um, why didn't Valentina just learn the f***ing words? <laughs> but, um, you guys, uh, listen, all the good and bad things of your life, uh, hey, you lose Drag Race, too bad. Hey, you get your own show, great. Uh, it's all just teeny little pieces of a greater puzzle. I guess you could say they're all just moving parts, and that's my tie into this song. It's not great. I'll work on it later. Living's like a jigsaw, and the farther in you go, if you're missing pieces, never really know. When you're ticking like a timepiece, which you can't rely. Wonder why you wind it when you're running out of time. Sometimes there's a danger of choking on the parts. No one gave a warning to the breaking of your heart. Pick up all the pieces and go back to the start. Never lose it, only use it, all your moving parts, all your moving parts. Sorry, you guys really threw me off. I'm not used to applause. Living's supposed to kill you, but it shouldn't feel like dying. Loving's supposed to fill you, but it spills you like your wine. And all the paper people wandering about, wondering who made them and who's gonna cut them out. Sometimes there's a danger of choking on the parts. No one gave a warning to the breaking of your heart. Pick up all the pieces and go back to the start. Never lose it, only use it. All your moving parts, all your moving parts. Yeah, it was a different tempo, but you tried. You did a good job. You guys want to see some?
this is the serious part. And even in the morning, when the sun's behind the clouds, in the state you're born in, in the state that you're in now, California, even if the roof is leaking, still above your head, just remember two words that the two birds now available on iTunes never said. Sometimes there's a danger of choking on the parts. No one gave a warning to the breaking of your heart. Pick up all the pieces and go back to the start. Never lose it, only use it, all your moving parts. All your moving parts. That was amazing. You're doing amazing, sweetie. So Trixie Mattel, living legend, I have a, a, a very short two minute impromptu Q&A. Oh, okay, great. Okay, um, number one, why do you do it? <sighs> no, why do you do it? I know why I do it, which is power. Oh. Why, why do you do it? I do it so that Jasmine Masters might retweet me. There you go. That first question rendered all other questions moot. Um, so thanks for coming, you guys. Um, I don't know about you guys. So we both have, um, I think, you know, people like to talk about us because we're beautiful. Yeah, I get it. Oh, wait, 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 one second, one second. I want to say one last thing. No, I want to say when you get compliments a lot, you learn to tune them out because if you're a good person, you don't want to be a bitch. Um, but the only good thing people say about me and Trixie that I really like and latch on to every day is that um, we're... Um, how do you say it? We have a reasonable and hu humilitous, no, uh, humble, but not fake humble way of uh, engaging with our own level of talent in the world. Does that make sense? Do you know what I'm talking about? In LA? No. no, it doesn't. <laughs> Basically, people say, I think we like you because you're not douches, and I take not being a douche very seriously. <laughs> Although maybe this is a little douchey right now. Um, so thanks for coming, I and... I a microphone because I can project. Oh, wow. Okay, thank you for supporting us. And all you guys who supported our YouTube series and all of the WAP Presents programming, thank you very much. Yes. And without that YouTube series, our therapists would have a huge financial deficit. Okay, wow. And that's it. DJ, let the music play.